of this video is recording. But yeah, guys, so the way to obtain this set is you have to spend $75 or more on any Lego from October 19th through the 25th. And I just so happened to buy three Infinity War sets that I did not yet own. So let me know in the comments down below if you want to see a review on those or if you think it's too late. But anyways, so this set contains four minifigures with 22 pieces. It contains War Machine from Infinity War. It contains Wong, Tony Stark in his nanotech suit, or I guess clothing, and then Bucky Barnes' White Wolf. So, um, yeah, as you can see in the box, uh, you have the Avengers Infinity War logo right here, along with Sony. And you got all, all six stuff. I have a set number, but it has like a number, like a serial number, I guess, right here, and that is 5005256, and then an item number of 6232948, along with the Mar Marvel logo right there, and a link to marvelkids.com. Yeah, guys, so uh, let's get into these figures. Real quick, before we do get into the figures, though, I do want to point out that on the leaked photos, it said limited edition only at Toys R Us. Um, but now it just says limited edition because in the U.S., obviously they didn't have Toys R Us, and he, er, and fixed that by just saying it's limited edition, and in the U.S. you can buy it at Barnes and Noble. Fortunately, though, I live in Canada with a, uh, This is probably one of the best figures I've ever seen from a Marvel set, guys. War Machine here is super, super great. I want to say that the face mask right here is the same one that we received in the Civil War sets, but I honestly have no idea. It looks very similar, but I'm not going to say that it is, just in case it is not. Um, then you can see there is some printing on the helmet right there, so if I will remove the face mask, you can see that it is separate right there printed onto the actual helmet itself um on the rest of the helmet it is just black though and you can see the roadie head if i remove the helmet entirely you can see the roadie head he has the same hud design as uh, the new tony stark head from the sets but obviously it is in red instead of in blue but yeah so this is definitely a really nice face and i really like that side and then if you twist it around you can see the other side of the head, which is pretty much just a roadie smiling head, which if you were to paint mustache on there, it would look just like Steve Harvey, which was pointed out on an Instagram story by MGF Customs on Instagram, um, which I didn't realize until I saw that, and I found it hilarious, so I figured I would mention it in the video. But yeah, so pretty much you just put on the helmet, and then you can put on the face mask, and it looks pretty good. Um, the torso printing here, you can see... He's got the chrome detailing all over the torso that is printed on a black torso and then some lighter chrome printing on toward the top area of the torso here and then towards the bottom here. Um, and then you can see the belt printing there, which is just a continuation of the torso printing and then the leg printing is a continuation of the belt printing. So really it's all connected. Um, one minor, minor nitpick that I have because this figure is really amazing is that there is a li I wish the printing on the legs would have gone up a little bit higher because it just kind of cuts off. Um, and then I wish there was a little bit less separation between the belt piece and the torso, but really that's nothing major. Um, but then you can also see that he does have some toe printing right there, which is really nothing a lot. Um, and I can see if I turn it to this side that he does have arm printing as well with a star printed right there. And then 004 right there, which is actually more detailed than the one that I made back in April. 
So yeah, guys, and then if I take off the helmets and then remove the head, um, if the entire figure doesn't come with it, you can see that he does have a torso, like a neck attachment, which is containing his gun, which is pretty much just made up of four pieces. It's just got this piece right here, which contains a clip, and then holding like a telescope piece with a red stud attached to that, which is nothing much, but then if I remove this to see the back printing, then you can just see how detailed that is right there, and this entire figure is just so, so detailed. Like, and I wasn't even expecting arm printing, but we did get that. Um, one, again, super minor nitpick is that I wish they would have continued some leg printing onto the side of the legs, because obviously you have arm printing and it just sort of cuts off on the sides, but that's really just really minor and it's not really a big deal. Um, then you can see, since his gun is retractable, that you can also display the figure with the gun off, like, and I meant retractable in the movie, his new suit has the retractable gun, so you can see that it looks just fine like this, and I think this is probably the best War Machine figure we've ever received, and probably will ever receive, so yeah, let's move on to Wong. So, Wong here is also a super great figure, um, and we'll do the same thing that we did with War Machine, and just go from the head all the way down to the legs, uh, real quick, one more thing with War Machine, though, now that I have another piece with me. If you take the side of the head where Rhodey is smiling and he looks like Steve Harvey, you can put a hairpiece that is not included in the set on there just to make it look like he actually has hair like he does in the movie. So yeah, uh, that's just one more thing about War Machine that I didn't need to mention, but felt like I should. Um, and then while I have this hairpiece here, I will talk about the head and how I wish that Marvel and Lego had included a hairpiece on Wong, because obviously he is not bald in the movie. So if you just put that on there, you can see that it does look pretty good, and that Marvel should have included it, or that, I guess, Lego should have included it, but they didn't. And that's fine, because this is still a really, really nice figure. He's got an awesome face print that looks just like Benedict Wong, um, who is the actor that portrays Wong, if you guys did not know. Um, and then you can see that his accessory here is some sort of, like, Doctor Strange artifact that's just printed on a brown 2x2 two two tile. Um, and it's just got some green printing on there along with some gold, which, if anybody knows what this is, please let me know down in the comments, if, or if it's not just, like, a regular, like, a book or something that Wong would be holding. Um, but then you can see that he's got his red robes right there. And then with some wrinkles printed on there and there and just all over the torso. Uh, you can see that he's got this like light blue, sand blue printing on the bottom of his torso there, which looks really nice. And then just some brown straps, I guess what you would call them, on the, just spanning the entire torso. Um, and then you can see his legs are double molded if you look at the back there. Um, just because they are brighter or i'm just moving the light there uh just so you can see that it is actually double molded there with a black and red um then you can see his leg printing it is a continuation of all of this stuff on the torso and belt um and then this is also a victim of the um belts printing like the misprint right there there's a little bit of separation between the belt and the legs which is fine, there's really no need to, you know, fix that. It's really just a minor nitpick, if anything. Um, and then you can see that the printing... I don't know where I was going with that, but the printing is really nice. Um, and then he just has a regular pair of blue arms with some dark tan hands. Um, and then obviously the head is printed on a dark tan head as well. And then as you can see on the belt piece, the black that goes down all the way with the boots, you know, with, like, the robes that are underneath, I guess, uh, you can see that it does cease to exist on the bottom of the belt piece there, but that's really nothing major, because you're obviously not always looking down at the bottom of the belt piece, um, but yeah, so I think that is it for Wong, except, look at the back, there's just, some um, brown detail, I guess, straps or a belt or something, but yeah, I think that's it for Wong, let's move on to Tony Stark. Mr. Tony Stark, the man who started it all, is probably my least favorite figure out of all four of these, but, um, that's, I'll, I'll get into the reasons just as to why in a little bit, but we'll start with the head and we'll move our way down. His hairpiece is a sleepy hairpiece, like the bedhead hairpiece, and molded in black, 
which I don't think is exactly accurate. I think maybe just using a Superman hairpiece like this would have been a little bit better. This is just a painted one that I made because I was running out of black ones. Um, but just like this, I think that would have been a little bit better, but I, I can understand why they used the sleepy hairpiece just molded in black because it's not terrible. Um, and it's definitely really useful. Uh, his head is just like the Tony Stark head from the sets, except instead of it being like a smirking expression, he has a full-on smile on the side of the face, and instead of it being an angry HUD, you have a more scared, like, um, emotional face, uh, kind of like the one he would make, uh, spoilers, at the end of Infinity War when Peter was, uh, turning to dust. But then you can see the torso is printed onto a gray torso with some gunmetal designs printed on and they blend in really well if you have it in lighting like this and then uh shine out really well if you have it in lighting like this which i think is exactly how it was in the movie but then you can see that he does have his uh arc reactor printed in the exact same spot as it was on the mark 50 suit and then uh, you can see his shirt underneath is just a ton of dots, which is a super detailed print. I apologize if there's any background noise. I have my brother, and he's got his friends over. Um, and you can see some orange detailing there, and then on the arms as well. And then the back has the same gunmetal designs along with a hood print there. And then the legs are just the exact same gunmetal designs there as well. Minor nitpick, I wish he had some shoes or like double-molded legs, but that's really a nitpick. Um, but yeah, with all that said, let's move on to Bucky Barnes. So here he is, guys, Bucky Barnes, the white wolf, another white boy for sure to fix. Um, he is definitely a really nice figure, I will admit to that. Um, so we'll start with his head, and then we'll work all the way down to the legs. Um, but the head is entirely new printed for... Bucky here and you can see that he's got his he's got like a nice stubble printed on there and then he's got you know the printing around the eyes and he's got a really nice sort of stern uh, mouth expression and then if I turn the hairpiece around you can also see the alternative facial expression which is definitely a lot more angry and a lot more you know like he's fighting the outriders um, and then you can see while we're back here the back printing of the torso is really nice it's arguably a little bit more detailed than the front as you can see it's got all the black detailing all around it and then that little silver buckle right there um and then you can if we move it to the front and then i'll turn the hair piece around again uh you can see all the black detailing there which is mostly black but then you do have a little bit of gray there and there and then also with the silver detailing there and there but yeah guys um and then the arm over here is just a regular dark blue arm and then the arm over here his left arm the wakandan vibranium arm is really nice for what lego did i do wish that they would have uh used a shinier chrome color because this does look a little bit dull in contrast to the uh gold i apologize i just bumped the camera uh there we go so then you can see uh, just the gold there, and it does look really nice. I just wish the arm was a little bit more shiny itself. Um, and then you can see his legs are just a pair of olive green and black dual molded legs with a gray strap. Mother, father, I'm so sorry, guys. I keep bumping the camera. Um, and you can see he's got a gray strap there, which does continue onto the side of the leg there. Um, then obviously not onto the back of the leg because it is really hard for Lego to print onto the backs of, and, uh, I guess, insides of legs. Um, so yeah, and then the last part of this figure that I haven't gone over yet is his gun, which I definitely think is one of the worst options Lego could have gone with. They gave him an Alien Conquest pistol. And guys, if you didn't know about it, the Alien Conquest pistols came out, like, first in 2012 with those weird new sets, and LEGO keeps on rehashing these guns to use in all sorts of different waves, and I really do not like the look of them for realistic guns, such as the one that Bucky uses, because Bucky uses an M249 in an Infinity War, the same gun that I gave him for my showcase. He uses a gun that looks borderline exactly like this, and as you can see, the Alien Conquest pistol does not look like this at all. So, 
I did come up with a few other options for what they could have done. That's not this, but they at least it's a little bit better than having an alien conquest gun. Option number one would be giving him the Brick Forge or Brick Arms um, M249 saw para, and then giving it like an MP5 mag or the Type 100 mag that I jammed in there. Um, because it does, it's pretty spot on to the actual, uh, movie. Um, option number two, which is a lot more likely, is I could have given him a black Alien Conquest pistol, just so that it blends a little bit more with the darker color of the torso and doesn't look as jarring when you look at the gun. So then you can see there, when he's holding it, it does look a little bit better. Not as much better, but still a little bit than the gray. Um, option number three would be give him an Alien Conquest pistol, but with binoculars on the end, just so that it looks like he's at least holding a rifle and not just some weird-ass futuristic pistol. Um, so you can see him holding it there. It does look like he is holding a rifle. Um, option number four is give him an Uzi like what I did for my Falcon figure from Infinity War. And I think this is probably my favorite one because it does look that much better. It looks super nice, and I'm really happy with how that looks. Um, but then option number five, I believe, would be just give him one of these pieces because that is, does look like a pistol. But obviously, like, I wouldn't do this because I don't like using this gun as a pistol. But yeah, guys, I think that's it for Bucky Barnes here. And let's go ahead and wrap up the video. And while I put in the gun here, I just want to say one more time how much I really do appreciate LEGO printing these figures and how much... I really like their designs. So yeah, guys, I think that's it. Let's wrap it up. So yeah, guys, that is it for 2018's third week of Bricktober Lego Avengers minifigure pack. And I really did enjoy these figures, as you could tell through my excitement talking about them throughout the entire video. Just give me a second. I'm going to put that back there just so that it looks a little bit more full. Um... But yeah, I really did enjoy talking about these figures, guys. I really do enjoy these figures themselves. Um, but if you found, your, found this informative and maybe wanted to uh, pick this up, then please do so. The day that I'm actually finishing to record this is the 24th, so you have tonight and tomorrow to go pick up the Avengers Bricked Over Pack. But um, yeah, guys, I highly recommend doing that. But if you don't really want to dish out 75 bucks to get four minifigures, then I completely understand that. I was just saying that I would. Um, but yeah, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, drop a like down below if you want and or your opinion on these figures in the comments. Uh, if you want, you can subscribe. That's also an option. And uh, I think that's it, guys. All right. See you guys later. Bye.